What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie back with another tutorial to help you level up your tech game. And today we're diving into the world of machine learning by setting up TensorFlow on a Ubuntu server. So whether you're a data science noob or a seasoned pro, this video will get you up and running with one of the most popular machine learning frameworks out there. So grab yourself a coffee, sit back, and let's keep it techie. So I'm at tensorflow.org. And before we jump into the installation, let's talk a bit about what TensorFlow is and why you might want to use it. Now, TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library developed by Google. It's used for everything from training models to recognizing objects and images, natural language processing, and even powering recommendation systems. And you can think of TensorFlow as your go-to tool for anything machine learning related. And if you've ever wondered how Netflix knows what you want to watch next or how self-driving cars recognize pedestrians, TensorFlow is likely playing a part in that magic. And I'm telling you guys, it's a powerful tool and getting it set up on your Ubuntu server will open up a world of possibilities for your projects. So let's hop over to the terminal and get started. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. So I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Ubuntu 24.04, as you can see right here, LTS. And first things first, we need to make sure our Ubuntu server is up to date. So you need to open up the terminal or connect via SSH, just like I'm doing, and type in sudo apps updates. This will refresh the repositories and check to see if any packages are out of date and then present them to you to upgrade. And so you can run the sudo app upgrade command after that in order to upgrade the packages. But as you can see right now, we don't have any updates. It says all packages are up to date. Now for TensorFlow, there are a couple dependencies we need to install in order to get everything set up. And I'll just paste them in here and walk through exactly what they are. So first you need to install build essentials. Just make sure that's installed. If it's not, it'll go down and install it. And then pipe Python 3, obviously, Python 3 pip, and then Python 3 dash dev, and then Python 3 virtual environment, which is the ENV. So let's go down and press enter there and install all these packages. This will get your system ready to install TensorFlow. And then also we have to create a virtual environment so we can keep TensorFlow clean and isolated, which is always important. So I'll be back when this finishes. All right, so all our packages or dependencies are installed now. So we can go down and set up our virtual environment so we can install TensorFlow. And all you have to do is type Python three and then dash M and that's for make and then a virtual environment. So V E N V and then we can name our virtual environment. I'm gonna just name it TensorFlow underscore E N V for environment. So that'll be our virtual environment's name. And then let's press enter. That'll generate all the necessary files and, and create that virtual environment for us. And if we LS our home directory, we'll see the TensorFlow environment folder there. So now let's go on and activate our environment. And the way you do that is simply by typing source and then our TensorFlow environment folder. And then there's a bin directory under there. And then there's activate. And this will activate that virtual environment for us. And you'll know when you're in the virtual environment because it'll show the virtual environment name before the terminal user account and host name. All right, so now that we're in there, we can install TensorFlow. And you have to use pip to install it. So pip and then install 
in the package name is tensorflow our one word now before i run this command in our virtual environment that we have actually our system that we have our virtual machine that we have doesn't have a gpu so we don't have to worry about gpu at all but if you do have a gpu then there's a different version of tensorflow you need to verify that CUDA and I believe it's C-U-D-N-N or properly installed. And I recommend you go to the documentation to get all of that installed properly if you're using the GPU package. But since, like I said, I'm using a virtual machine that only has CPU, I'm gonna install the CPU version, which is just TensorFlow. So just go down and press enter, that will install TensorFlow to go through, get all the dependencies that it needs and go through the install. It'll download everything for you. And then you'll start seeing it going through and installing at the end. All right, so now that TensorFlow is installed, we can verify the installation by running a simple Python script. And I grabbed this directly from the install guide on TensorFlow's website. So let's go down and paste it in so you guys can see what it's doing. It's basically a Python script to test the system. So let's go down and press enter. It'll go through and you should see some flows as long as you see some feedback that lets you know that TensorFlow is running. Now you can look through this and see uh, a lot of it it basically states that we don't have a GPU. It'll show different if you have a GPU. There's a different actual Python script you can run if you have a GPU and it will test out the GPU and all that good stuff. That'll let you know if TensorFlow is working based on the package that you installed. But one of the biggest things you can look for right down here, TensorFlow CPU feature, it says this TensorFlow binary is optimized to use available CPU instructions in performance critical operations. All right, so now that we have TensorFlow installed properly, let's go through a quick example and see it in action. Now, over the last couple of days, I've been playing around with TensorFlow preparing for this video. And I came up with a Python script that creates a simple neural network to recognize handwritten digits using the MNIST dataset. And let me show you guys what I wrote right fast. I'll just switch over to my VS Codium. And as you can see, this is the script. So I wanna test it out on this new install so you guys can see it in action. So let me go down and copy this right fast. I'm gonna just control A and then copy. And then let's just switch back over to our terminal and let's create a file. And I'm gonna create the same name and everything. So let's go nano and then MNIST dot pi and press enter and then let's paste that python script and go down and save that and close it and if anybody wants a copy of this i'll put it on my github or something before this video is up and then anyone can download it if they want to but let's go down and run it right fast i know typically when i do videos like this i'll show you guys how to set up an environment but sometimes i'll show you examples other times i won't as far as like a demonstration of it actually working well this time since i've been playing around with it i've been trying to learn how to use TensorFlow. It forced me to create a script and a couple scripts. Actually, I got some more out there that I'm developing. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning as I go. And that's the whole purpose of these videos to introduce you to things that you may not have used before. So you can start learning it and this should allow you to become better at your job, depending on if it's related to it or not. And what I do is I'm a database administrator. This is data science work was actually helping me understand this a whole lot better working with large data sets and understanding how to use a neural network to run through the data and look for patterns and different things like that. So let's go down and run the script right fast. So all we have to do is type Python and then we can select our script. So mnist.py, uh, let's press enter and it'll go through and run it. And it's super cool to see this. And basically you're seeing it train the model and evaluate its accuracy. And like I said, this is just a simple example, but it shows you how powerful TensorFlow can be for building machine learning models. So there you have it. You successfully set up TensorFlow on your Ubuntu server and even ran a simple example to see it in action. Now, I hope this tutorial has been helpful and that you're excited to dive deeper into the world of machine learning. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future tech tutorials. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, go down and drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to help you out and i hope you guys have a wonderful day make sure you keep learning and as always keep it techy